to Jazz at the Sandbar, right here on the spatial campus of the University of New Orleans, brought to you by the Jazz Studies Program right here at this wonderful institution. Uh, how did y'all like last week's with Amina Scott and great combo there? I think it was a wonderful show. We're going to have a wonderful show tonight as well because we have none other than Rex Gregory, a proud graduate of the UNO Jazz Studies Program. He's Rex has uh, been in Seattle for a few years, and it's great to have him come back. They're already using him as an adjunct here on at the uh, program. And uh, he really is a phenomenal player with a number of different reed instruments, so I think we're really going to be looking forward to that. Want to take a minute now to, uh, you know what I mean, plug our sponsors. And we're talking about Offbeat Publications, Snug Arbor, the... Uh, Nat and Priscilla Gordon, the New Orleans Jazz Celebration, and the New Orleans Theater Association. So let's give all those folks a hand for supporting us here. So uh, as I said, uh, we, we didn't mention in the uh, program who was playing with uh, Rex for the pro band on the second set. But that's going to be Gerald Watkins on the drums. Peter Harris is going to be on the bass. And Oscar Rossignoli is going to be on the piano, backing up Rex. So looking forward to that. We're also going to have like a little interlude in between the sets of uh, sharing with you uh, a couple of the graduate students that are going to be performing at the virtual sandbar next week to give you an idea of what's going on there and promote that because it's a unique kind of thing that we should all tune into on Facebook. But right now, we're going to have it live right here at the Sandbar. So please give a warm welcome to UNO Student Combo under the direction of Peter Varnado. Yeah, we really appreciate y'all coming out uh, on behalf of everyone on stage. Uh, we really appreciate y'all letting you come enjoy all evening with us. Uh, yeah, uh, as stated before, we are Peter Varnado's mad science experiment gone wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's, uh, <laughs> who's what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's my pleasure to introduce some of these talented people on the stage all around with me. On guitar, we got my man Hobson Owen. <laughs> yes, indeed, y'all give it up for him. Over here on keys, we got Grant Barris killing it. Yeah. <laughs> Off stage, he's a little bit in the corner, be Coming to the light, bro. We got Miles Butler also on the keys. Yes, indeed. We got Austin Dewey back here on the upright and electric bass. We got Guillermo Valadares on the drum kit and percussion. We got the smile, the diplomat behind the band. <laughs> My man Larry Davis also on drums and percussion. And I'm James Larrell on tenor sax for y'all tonight. We're going to kick things off. We're going to need a little bit of energy from y'all for this first song, if that's all right. We're going to start it off with a beautiful song entitled Soulful by the late Dwight Hargrove.
I love y'all energy on that first song, by the way. Y'all really brought it to us. Again, that last song was, last song was Soulful by Roy Hargrove. On this next one, we're going to feature Grant Barris, beautiful tune from Brazil entitled Fleur de Lis by Havana.
Yeah, y'all give it up one more time for Grant, featuring Grant on that song. Absolutely, bro. We're going to keep it going with some Latin for y'all, our own personal take on evidence by Thelonious Monk.
y'all so much. That was probably one of our personal <laughs> favorites, if you couldn't tell. Uh, that was Nature Boy by Nat King Cole. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, all right. So for this next one, we're going to... It's one of, by one of all of our personal favorite artists. Uh, we're going to slow it down for y'all a little bit. I feel like I'm talking at a high school prom right now. Uh, <laughs> Gonna slow things down for y'all a little bit. Uh, some R and B. D'Angelo's really love.
All right, so uh, up next, we'd like to bring up our featured artist, Rex Gregory. <laughs> this song is also going to feature our guitar player, Hobson Owen. I'm so excited to hear you on this tune. I just got to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear you play on this song. Uh, this is Nothing Personal by Michael Brecker. Nothing personal by Don Brown.
So it's safe to say that you've been doing this for a couple of years now. <laughs> Play with a couple people. <laughs> yeah, that was incredible. Y'all give it up again for our guitarist, Hobson Owen, being featured on that. And of course, our guest artist, Rex Gregory. <laughs> Phenomenal. On this next tune, we're going to feature our keyboard has been real quiet over here. So we're going we're gonna to feature our pianist, Miles Butler, in this song, Tell Me a Bedtime Story by Herbie Hancock.
Y'all give it up again for these amazing people on stage, y'all. So we're going to do one more for y'all tonight. Uh, I can't wait for this one. Uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and reintroduce everybody before we end things out for y'all. Uh, again, our amazing featured artist, Rex Gregory. Absolutely. Y'all give it up for him. Phenomenal. Hobson Owen on guitar, bro. Representing Baton Rouge. Guillermo Valadares on the drums and percussion once again. Austin Duway on the bass. Upright and electric. Yes, indeed. He's versatile. Uh, Grant Barris on the keys. Miles Butler. Y'all give it up again for him from that last song. Yes, indeed. Larry, you and him with one more smile? Yeah. Larry Davis, the smile behind the band, y'all. My name is James Lurill on tenor sax for y'all. We're going to take it out. Wayne's Thing by Kenny Garrett.
Thank y'all so much again. We really appreciate y'all coming out. We have been Peter Varnado's Combo, yo. Y'all stick around to see some amazing music from Rex Gregory. Thank y'all so much again.
All right, we're back. I want to take this opportunity to do a shout out to our favorite music industry bigwig. Give it up for Missy Bowen. Finally coming to visit us. She was a tireless uh, supporter of Jazz at the Sandbar for many, many years while she was coordinator over at the UNO Music Department. And it's great to have her back. Yeah, Missy. We miss you, Missy. So, um, Brian Seeger and I were talking, uh, I don't know, last week or something. And we thought it might be a good idea to uh, do a little teaser for next week's virtual uh, showcase. Um, those of y'all that haven't figured it out yet, uh, this is our last uh, show on site here. And then next week we're going to be continuing something that was started during the pandemic with the graduate students um, doing a showcase of a lot of things that they do. And <clears throat> we talked about it, and it's not really a live performance kind of thing that they, they do. They work out a lot of different stuff. Some of it's pretty delicate, a lot of duo kinds of things. And, uh, you know, they cut and paste it all together. It'd be a wonderful performance uh, on Facebook. So that's what's going to be the last one next week. Same time, 7 o'clock, but you'll have to go up on uh, the Jazz Studies Facebook or UNO Soda uh, School of the Arts uh, Facebook to catch it. But we decided to go ahead and do one of the excerpts from next week to give you an idea of, of what it's like. So uh, please uh, bring to the stage Audrey Smith on piano. And Jade Perdue is going to be vocalizing on this one tune before we get on with the, the last segment of the show. Hello, how y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Um, my name is Jade Perdue, and we have Audrey Smith on keys. And the tune is an original written by Audrey Smith and is titled Alone. Uh, Maxie, can you give me a little bit more vocals, please? Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Trash and lock the door Every day same score Somehow I'm looking for more Just does it feel right alone me alone 
Audrey Smith. <laughs> and next we have Rex Gregory. <laughs> Give it up one more time. Jade Perdue. Audrey Smith. That's just a little glimpse of all the, the showcase of so many different uh, folks in the graduate uh, studies program here at uh, UNO. So uh, once again, it's on the UNO uh, School of the Arts Facebook starting at 7 o'clock next Wednesday. Hey, do we have another band? Well, come on down. All right. Rex has encircled himself with some of our great players in uh, New Orleans. Give it for Gerald Watkins on the drum. Jason Stewart is on the bass. Oscar Rossignoli, that's right. Back again on the piano. And our man of the hour, give it up for Rex Gregory.
Yeah, how about this band? We got Gerald Watkins on the drums. We got Jason Stewart on the bass. I messed up. Uh, Jason had texted me. Uh, Jason Patterson texted me. He said, oh, is this the lineup? It had Peter on it. And I was like in the car, like, yeah, that's it. And so that's my bad, uh, Jason. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got, we got Jason Stewart on the bass. Yeah, we got Oscar Rossignoli on the piano. Uh, right now, we're going to continue with an original mind. Uh, this is called uh, Verrier. This is uh, based off of uh, Stendhal's book, The Red and the Black. Uh, this is the town where uh, the young aspiring priest is from. And a lot happens to this young priest. And not to uh, d divulge too many of the details, he ends up having a f an affair with the mayor's wife, among other things, traveling to Paris to conquer the young Matilda. It's a very good book. Uh, this is called Verrier.
All right, this next tune uh, was a song I wrote when I was uh, visiting again before COVID. Uh, I had this gig at the sidebar back when that was still open. And um, I was like, oh no, I don't have any tunes. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the gig. And um, I took like a sheet of loose leaf paper and just started writing tunes just out of my head. Like it was like about four hours before the gig. And uh, some of them didn't work, but uh, this one I really liked. And um, this is a uh, this is a song. Uh, you know, I was, I was like, by this time I was like on the tune three or something, and I was in the back like, ah, oh, it's so nice to be home, you know. And uh, I think that was just kind of seeds of being planted that I was going to come back. And this is this is entitled Home. Thank you. 
home. Uh, it's good to be home. I was uh, in Seattle for about three and a half years. Uh, but I went to UNO, I, I graduated in 08. Uh, I started in 02, so don't do the math, uh, please. Yeah, please don't do the math. Uh, you know, but wait, you know, with, with Katrina, it got a little wayward. I went over to uh, Europe for about a year uh, for the exchange program here that they were doing. They had the, uh, with Rotterdam and uh, UNO, and they were kind enough to bring a lot of students over to Europe, and, and we really had nothing to do. I was, I was in, uh, Houston, like, uh, completely, um, uh, you know, discombobulated, I guess you'd say. Uh, so I, you know, really thank uh, you know for having that opportunity to make the most out of a year. Um, this is a tune that um, I guess is out of the European tradition a little bit, uh, but it's interesting. It's a guy that wrote it, his name is Jimmy Jufri, and he actually wrote uh, Four Brothers. It's like the Woody Herman, classic Woody Herman chart. But this is something he was doing in the 60s, and it's kind of uh, oh, really interesting. This song is called Scootin' About, which is what I was doing after Katrina, to be honest.
we've got a couple more for you. This is a, uh, this is a book, uh, this is a tune based off a book, I should say. Uh, the name of the book is called Girl and Landscape. It's by Jonathan Lethem. Uh, it's a really uh, wild um, fiction, uh, science fiction novel. And uh, this is about the main protagonist. This is called Pella Marsh.
That was the first time that had ever been played. It was kind of written during the pandemic when all I had to do was time to read and write, which I wasn't doing a whole lot of. But anyway, uh, we'd like to thank you for coming out. Uh, we really appreciate it, uh, supporting Sandbar, uh, supporting UNO, supporting the scholarship fund through the, um, through the covers at the door, if you all paid that. And uh, supporting the young musicians that played before us, you know, uh, there's so many people in the city that came through the school, and it's really a blessing uh, to have it here and, and to still be going. And uh, again, we just want to thank you for supporting it and always, always coming out. Uh, one more, one more time. This is Oscar Rossignoli on the piano. <laughs> Gerald Watkins on the drum. We got Jason Stewart back there on the bass. And uh, yours truly, Rex Gregory. Uh, we're going to finish with a thank you. We're going to finish with a uh, another original of mine. This is called uh, Rhythmish.
Oscar, Jason, Gerald, Rex, uh, UNO, we thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Give it up one more time for Rex Gregory. He happens to have two CDs available right here, right here at the sandbar. So I want you to go back and see Miss Jean. Only $10 each. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can't. So go back and grab uh, one or two of those things and uh, take Rex home with you tonight. Thank you so much for supporting the sandbar. And we will be seeing you here the first Wednesday in March. 2022. So see you then. Take care. The black one. The other one's going in the middle.